Hello everyone and welcome back, it's me Department here, I'm so glad you could join me for another video today guys. I'm back at Tapping Legends Final guys, and the Medieval Update number 5 has been here for 3 days. I've been grinding almost non-stop in those 3 days, and I'm going to show you what I've acquired so far, discuss some of the new stuff, the status of the game, and, well, we'll go from there guys, really. So, it's great to be back, just know I am still grinding the game guys, as you see the leaderboard tags above my head, 12 on taps, 37 pet power, 29 on rebirths. 11 on eggs hatched and 21 on time played so that is actually pretty crazy guys and here we are in the new medieval world guys so this is the latest world it is pretty nice looking world with the nice houses the little village the little market here with the pumpkins on it, it looks like they're for sale and i don't know what's over here what is back here it's like a little bottle back here it doesn't say anything on it but that's okay we got mushrooms it's just all in all a good egg and here we are on i believe yep the castle egg it's 500 billion taps it has six pets plus two secrets and i guess if you want to call it an easier one and then a harder one and here are all of the hatchable pets and what have you i mean the princess isn't really a pet right but uh yeah that's what what you get hatched so this is what it looks like as the video started and i have them all right here you got things like let's see what pops up on the screen a goat knight a villager a donkey you got the princess and yeah that's pretty much it so i had pretty bad luck for the first couple days but i did get lucky one day on a good streak and i got both of these magical crowns all in the same day of grinding it was within hours apart so i was pretty happy to finally get something so i have number 476 hatched by myself and 503 also hatched by myself guys but i'm gonna go ahead and show you what those actually do look like along with actually the diamond princess right here the mythic princess diamond is 1.8 million clicks and 180 of these were hatched many more obviously exist and speaking of that there's already 745 of these bad boys so oof, man they are hatching like absolute crazy guys so let's go ahead to the settings show your pets and bam they come down guys so what do we have here in front we have the golden ice cream kitty from the summer event i love this thing right here i'm so happy to have that and the golden chest mimic those are awesome because they're rare cannot hatch them anymore and they're golden variety and of course here are the two crowns right here they're green they look pretty cool like something you might expect a leaderboard pet to look like and overall i kind of like them now i don't know what the new this is the easier of the secrets i don't know what the really uh hardcore one looks like that's like a 1 in 20 or 25 million chance because I haven't hatched it yet. But I'm hoping before the end of the week I do actually have a chance to hatch it. So let's go to the spawn area, guys. And we'll go ahead and get into exactly what else is new in this update right here. So we want to go to the index and check this out. So I do have 156 out of 156 pets, guys. That is a beautiful thing right there. So that basically means I have the normal golden and diamond version of all of the pets that count towards it. I even have all of the limiteds from the summer event in all varieties, which is actually awesome. The exclusives, now this is where I start to lack. I do not have all of the exclusives by any means, but they don't count towards the index, so that's fine. And apparently, I don't think the uniques do either, because I only have 5 of the 24 possible uniques. Uh, so I haven't even hatched like the retro car, whatever the tougher version of this world is. And uh, I'm not really sure what that last one is, to be quite honest with you. And here we are for limited un uniques right here. So, we were lucky during the summer event to get a pretty good amount of them, but we never got, what was it, the hard sun catcher, and of course we never got the ancient either, so that's sad. And for exclusive uniques, I no luck on these guys. I've hatched 15 or 18 exclusive eggs and not one, so yeah, uh, that's kind of how it looks there. But I would want to show you the cutscene for at least this guy that I just got, if I could remember where he is. Here he is. So the normal version right here, this is from this new medieval world. So this is what the cutscene looks like. I haven't even looked at this myself. So there it is. Bam, it shakes the screen. And those are the odds on the bottom. It's a 1 in 5 million chance. Okay. So I think they're getting maybe a little bit harder every couple updates. Or that's roughly around what it was anyways. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go ahead and just turn the pets off because... Uh, we don't need them on guys so speaking of that something else that came new with this update are actually achievements now so that's what this little menu item was up here that i thought might have been from leaderboards it's really for achievements so 
There are things like items used, enchants crafted, eggs open, fruits eaten, time played, and breakables. And how this works is you get experience for participating in any of these actions or activities. For time played, just from being on, you get a tick every second it looks like. And then you can go into them and collect rewards. So for example, breakables. I'm rank 17, 3,000 out of 5,300 XP for the next level. I click on it and I got to collect things at rank 5, 10, and now at 15 I get a damage 20% and rubies 20% number two books so I claim that and it gives it to me so the best rewards for this are rank 25 you get 10% more rubies and rank 45 guys you get the hammer secret pet uh, item right there and that is actually very rare so that's an awesome one to get and then of course at number 50 you get more damage dealt period for that so another notable one is I believe is eggs opened guys because this gives some pretty good stuff right the eggs opened one gives toy boxes it gives a 5% more egg luck scrolling down it gives uh, a calculator which is amazing 4% uh, basically thing to put on your pets it gives you a lucky 5 book 50 lucky boosters and at rank 50 10% more hatch speed. This is the one I'm most excited about because, yeah, I do love hatching, guys, and you know that. The other ones are all right as well. Time played is definitely going to take a while, but you do get more rubies and more taps in the long run for actually completing that. Now, one thing that is sad, these achievements uh, do not actually count for your overall stats you've collected since you started playing the game. So that means all of the progress I've made with all these eggs hatched and everything else, guys, the 37 days played does not retroactively go into the achievements. So you pretty much have to start from scratch, and that's a little bit sad, not going to lie. But you'll notice above my head if my top hat wasn't blocking it. My title is, I believe this is the new one they, they just added as well. It's called Legendary Hatcher, and I'm happy for this one because I am a hatcher. It's 5 million eggs. You get 15% hatch speed luck and 1% golden chance, guys. That is awesome, and it's the best hatching one, as it should be, guys, because the summer 2024 one was, I believe, 15% hatch speed and egg luck before they nerfed it after the event ended, and this one is a very strong one for anyone that has that, not going to lie. If you compare that to the 3 million one champion hatcher, this is 10 hatch speed and 15 luck, so it's only uh, a little bit better than that one you could have got from the last event, guys. But there are also a couple more things to discuss here today, and that is that <clears throat> enchants can now go up to tier 6, guys. So if I go to my items, here they are. I did make one tier 6 lucky number 6 uh, egg luck, and it's 20%. It's called ancient rarity, and compare that to a 5, which is secret rarity, it's 17%. So 17 to 20%. But man, does it take a lot of enchant books and resources to actually make this thing happen. So, yeah, that is definitely something you can grind for in the game. Uh, so that's, I guess, a good thing. But other things are, I guess, they buffed the achievements, earned the items you actually got for doing them, which is a good thing. And also how quickly you can get them. They also keep on doing a lot of balance issues, tweaking things like the power of certain pet toys or i notice breakables in areas kind of behave a little bit differently when it comes to farming some of the items that you actually need to collect and things like that another thing i've noticed is that the player count in this game sadly is going down and down each week i'm no noticing less and less new players on the game and i'm also noticing less and less people actually taking the time to grind their alts in the game guys and that's one of the huge signs that this game is probably not gonna last very long and i don't know it just never took off to begin with really too hard although it was kind of on the good track but it's just a hatching game um there's no really new elements besides hatching and there are collecting enchants and pet toys and all that stuff which is kind of cool but they've made a lot of changes to how breakables work and this that the other thing uh, essentially things got a little bit harder overall and that's never a good thing when it affects how hard and difficult it is for goals to be met because basically it means people are going to choose whether or not they should invest their time in doing something that is worth it or not worth it and in this case it looks like the game is going down guys so i'm hoping it picks back up i really enjoy this game i love shiny star games like i said uh but we'll see what it continues how it progresses and you know we'll go from there on the channel and decide what to do but that's really it for this update i wanted to show you what i got after three days of hatching in the new medieval world my status and some of the new stuff guys so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think and let me know if you know any other games that you actually think that I 
should play and I'd be good at grinding because I am into Tycoon RNG right now if you've seen a couple videos on my channel and uh, you're not gonna lie I'm actually really digging that and I have yet to even jump in super deep so I'm actually excited about that one guys so that's all I had for this video guys I want to thank you for being with me and remember until next time stay positive keep hatching and have a great rest of your day bye bye